God bless you, my beloved. Thank you for joining us once again. We are Abundant Grace Church, and I am Bishop Ramon Di Maria, and I am the senior pastor of the church. For prayer or information concerning our ministry and outreach, or to donate to this ministry, please email me at abundant.grace at att.net. My message title today is, Don't Grieve the Holy Spirit. I will be reading from Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 30. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. My beloved, did you know that the Holy Spirit is a person? Yes, the Holy Spirit is the third person of the Blessed Trinity. The Blessed Trinity is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Bible makes it very clear that the Holy Spirit is not just a force, like electricity, for instance. Rather, he is a person who knows, loves, speaks, leads, guides, intercedes, teaches, cries, testifies, and approves or disapproves of what we do. And when we love a person very much, we don't want to do anything that will make him or her sad, correct? In the same way, we need to know that we can grieve the Holy Spirit, just as we can grieve any other person whom we care about. The Holy Spirit lives in our hearts. When God calls us as Christians, He sends the Holy Spirit to live inside us. This indwelling is called being sealed by the Holy Spirit. Being sealed by the Holy Spirit has many blessings. It brings us many blessings, for this sealing keeps us and protects us from the wiles of the enemy, and one day will deliver us into heaven when we leave this life. It also indicates that God has accepted us and that we are very precious in his sight. It testifies to a finished transaction. Jesus has paid for all of our sins. It verifies our security. God has sealed our sins in a bag, let's say, and buried them in the depths of the sea. It attests to this ownership. This ownership is a permanent covenant between God and us. We are his and he is ours. It indicates also authority. Anyone who tries to break the seal will incur God's wrath. It verifies that we have a personal destiny. Heaven is our home. The Holy Spirit has sealed us for the day of redemption. My beloved, because the Holy Spirit lives in us and loves us so much, how we live becomes much more than whether we obey certain laws. We must act in ways so as not to grieve him. We grieve the Holy Spirit when we do not listen to his voice or seek his guidance. Well, when, having heard his guidance, we choose to be disobedient. A question for you today, my beloved. Do you listen for the Holy Spirit's guidance? Do you willingly follow his directions? Or have you done something that would grieve him? My beloved, the Holy Spirit wants to guide you, to show you the way you should live your life here on earth. And he will forgive you when you confess going down your own sinful path. My beloved, ask the Holy Spirit to show you how you can live to please him and to bring him joy and not grief. My beloved, please do not grieve the Holy Spirit by whom you have been sealed for the day of redemption. My beloved, an important note in closing, a Christian is a person who is led by the Holy Spirit of God. Let us pray. Father God, in Jesus' name, thank you for this message today. Don't grieve the Holy Spirit. We know that at times we are disobedient, but we also know that you will forgive. So Lord, help us to recognize our shortcomings and to walk according to the guidance of the Holy Spirit, that we may be obedient in all that we do for you. Thank you, Father God, for your blessing today. Thank you for the Holy Spirit guiding us, protecting us, keeping us, teaching us, convicting us. Thank you, Lord, for him being in our lives, for him living within us. Thank you for him sealing us until the day of redemption. And we pray this prayer in the name of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ, to whom be glory, power, and majesty, now and forever. Amen. My beloved, obey the Holy Spirit. Listen to his voice, for he desires to love you, to keep you, and protect you from Satan. And he will as you listen to his voice. God bless you, my beloved, and go with God.